All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So I know my title was a little extreme, Stop Dieting. And before I go further, I just want you to know if you are dieting and losing weight, um, I definitely don't want you to stop doing that. But what I do want to address in this video is really for people who have tried dieting throughout their life. Uh, they may have tried for weeks, months, years, whatever the case may be. They never truly got the results they desired or they did get good results, right? They lost a lot of weight or got in the shape they wanted to. But before you know it, they quit the diet or they stopped eating a certain way or stopped living a certain lifestyle and it ended up right back where they started. So when you think of diet, it's really a diet is just the foods we eat. That's not necessarily something that is specific regarding losing weight. But when we do think of dieting, we think, oh, we're going to go on this certain type of program and it's either going to get me in this type of condition or I'm going to lose X amount of weight, which is truthfully kind of, for the most part, unrealistic I think a lot of times because a lot of people that I know that go on diets even if they do say get some results out of it after they quit the diet where do they end up usually right back where they started the diet that they're on doesn't fit their lifestyle it doesn't fit who they are their beliefs their eating habits the foods they like all these different types of things so if you are planning on going on a diet which again I wouldn't recommend what you really need to do is create your own diet not follow someone else's or what the new trend is or what your friends did, family members or out of books. Again, you can learn from them, right? That's wonderful. But you need to find specifically where, what works best for you and your lifestyle. None of us have the same eating habits. None of us have the same sleeping patterns. None of us have the same job. I talk about it all the time. You need to start discovering what works for you and what doesn't work for you when it comes to foods, especially if you plan on losing weight. Um, the one thing I talk about a lot, and I'll just throw it in there, is lose weight gradually. While you're losing your weight gradually, I don't care if it's a pound a week or a pound a month, figure out what is helping you and what is hurting you, okay? It's real simple, and the truth is, most of you know the answers to your own questions. You know the foods you're eating aren't gonna help you lose weight. The foods you're eating at certain times aren't gonna help you lose weight. So if you're looking to lose weight, you have to take a, a really an honest approach on that. A lot of times these diets, they're telling you to do all these different types of things. Again, most likely you're not gonna stick with. Also, it's kind of extreme. Almost, I can't say, most people I know that want to lose weight, they don't necessarily are obsessed with looking a certain way. If you're a man, for instance, sure, you may want a six pack, but most guys I meet, they don't even care about the six pack. They just wanna get their waist a little tighter. They may wanna get a little bigger chest, tight, you know, better arms. They're not extreme. When you start to research these diets, they're very extreme. You gotta figure out, like a lot of people, where do you truly at the end wanna end up? Do you wanna lose this weight and then just maintain it, right? That's what most people truthfully wanna do, but they can't do it again because they go on either unrealistic diets, they starve themselves, or they start again for a certain amount of time living a lifestyle that they can't keep up with or that they're just not interested in. Sure, at the beginning, it's always gonna be kinda of cool because you start losing weight and you're doing all these different types of things. And again, what do people usually end up doing? Going right back to kinda of who they were. That's not a bad thing. And I think a lot of people think that their lifestyle, for some reason, is not valued. That's ridiculous. You probably live a great lifestyle. Sure, you may eat out maybe more than you should. You may be eating fattening foods, fast foods, uh, junk food here and there. So does most of the country, okay? So don't feel that bad. And again, back to a realistic approach, man. Listen, you gotta realize for you, you're probably in the middle, right? You don't need to, you're not gonna become a professional athlete. If you wanna run, run a couple miles. You're not gonna always be the person who's gonna all of a sudden start running marathons, doing a triathlon or all these things. Some do, but most don't. Again, you're just looking for a certain type of results. It doesn't have to be extreme again. So when you start figuring out you know, your food portions, because I talk about that all the time, it's really the portions that you're eating and not being active enough. And when I say active, that doesn't mean you have to run to a gym like myself all the time or uh, become you know, somebody who's gotta go to yoga three or five days a week or Pilates or do all these extreme things. You don't really have to do that. You need to understand, again, finding what works best for you, not only from activity wise, but also food portion control, and not get obsessed with the unrealistic expectations of 
eating and living again a certain lifestyle that you're not going to stick with year after year. So please pay attention to these type of things, man, because everybody I think, especially on social media, uh, it could be online, it could be the news, it could be wherever, always making you, I think, feel bad about the lifestyle that you're leading or that you're overweight, which you may be overweight, but you may not be as overweight as you think you are, okay? And you may be able to make just some small changes that is gonna probably get you to where you wanna be. Again, don't think that's gonna happen a month or two. It may take a year, but who cares? Once you get there, you get there. But the thing is, how much did you learn along the way about yourself? That's the one thing I think that most people don't figure out is they're not paying attention to who they are, what they're doing, and the type of lifestyle they're leading. And remember, again, to the future, what type of lifestyle are you gonna be leading then? And here's the thing too, I talk about, it's about momentum, really when it comes to you know, losing weight or anything you're doing in your life, the more you start to see results, the better off you're gonna be. Here's the other thing I'm gonna talk about. A lot of people don't realize sometimes when you go on certain diets or you start changing your entire lifestyle of eating, I guess you could say, you sometimes take something that you meant to be healthy and it turns into something very unhealthy. Okay, so you really need to pay attention to that. Sometimes you just being overweight a little bit, you may be a lot healthier than when you get much thinner. And I don't think a lot of people realize that they just think, hey, if I've, you know, if I'm this weight, I'm in best, I'm in great shape. Or if I lose this amount of weight, I'll be in way better shape than I was then. That's not always the case. Please pay attention to that. And again, figure out what works best for you. I would definitely, if you're going to start dieting, even though I don't like the word dieting, if you're going to start losing weight, do it under doctor's care. Just to, or do it under some type of care if you don't have insurance, but if you do, really pay attention because it's now time to figure out what really works for you. If you've kept failing in the past, there's a reason. And it may not just because you, you, know, you overeat, for instance, or the foods you're eating. It could be many different types of things. So again, you need to figure those things out. And I'm gonna wrap it up with this, man. We all love food. We all have to eat food to survive. Once you figure out specifically again what to do with the types of foods you love to eat, again, if you're overeating, that's on you. But meet it in the middle, man. Just back off a little here and there and start off, I talk about it all the time, one thing, if you're eating too much pasta, back off, just go half. If you're eating too many pizzas, too many burgers, whatever the case may be, I'm not telling you to stop any of it. Just back off, but just be somebody who's in control now of what you're doing and not just following diets or other people's eating routines, I guess you could say. Um, that are unrealistic to you. So I'm going to wrap it up there. If you get a chance, you might want to check out my podcast, The Rich Salenza Show, uh, Mastering Self-Confidence. I actually have a program called Mastering Self-Confidence where I try to help men uh, master their self-confidence. Um, I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you get a chance, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. Take care.